So if you're planning on taking the part 107 remote pilot exam, this video is for you. I'm going to share some quick tips on how I approach studying for this test. And if you do the same, it's guaranteed that you will also pass this test. Not only will you pass this test, but you'll gain a solid understanding of the air system and what's expected as a remote pilot. So when I first started uh, to, to prepare myself for this exam, the first stop was the FAA website and they have a study guide on their website. There's a lot, there's a lot of content there and you really don't know what to focus on. So after reading just, just several pages of that, I decided to, I started looking for some kind of study guide or a test guide. And I found this USA remote pilot um, test prep guide. So I picked this up off of uh, Amazon for, or no, I think Bar Barnes and Noble for 14, I think 14.99. So it was used relatively cheap. So, so I purchased this and in the meantime, I was doing some more searches on online training for, for the remote pilot exam. And I came across remotepilot101.com and they were doing a webinar. I listened to the, to the webinar and um, the instructor, he, his name's uh, Jason Shabbert. I just liked, I liked his approach to how he was delivering the content. All the videos were shot in 4K, the quality was good. I just, I, I liked it. So I ended up signing up for their course and that was probably, that was probably the, the best thing that, that I could have done because I think it took me several days just to go through the content and watch all their videos. What's nice about their course is right after each chapter, there is a, uh, an exam for each chapter. So you can go through, take the exam and see what, what you need to, to focus on. And then once you're done with all those chapters, you can do a final exam. So what I ended up doing was I looked at the content once, did the exam, went back, looked at all the parts that I had problems with. And I think I even went back and looked at everything one more time. So, so I really knew, I, I really knew the, the material when it was time to take the test. So about, I think one day before the test, this, this uh, guide showed up. So I went through and this guy, the way it's set up is there is um, basically an explanation of what the content is. And then right below it is sample questions that are similar to what's going to be on the test. And then it gives you, um, it gives you basically the answer at the end of the page. And then it gives you a reason why that's the answer. So the, the one thing that that's important about this test is it's really, um, there are a lot of trick questions on the test. So you really need to know the content and, and one, and you really need to know what they're asking for when you're answering the questions. So the, the other couple of things that I liked about the remote pilot 101 was that these guys are uh, constantly updating new content and then sending out emails when there's new videos. And it seems like I took my test over a couple of months ago and I've already gotten a few updates of, of new videos that they've added to, to the course. And that's kind of nice because the seems like the regulations, there's always um, some kind of new modifications or, or changes. And the other thing is, is that when you sign up with these guys, you get this course for life. So when you have to renew your license in a couple of, in two years, then you can go back and do a refresher course. Or if there's something that you, that you're like unsure of, you can go back and look through, look through the course and, you know, look, look up whatever it is that, that you have a question about. So good luck with taking the part 107 remote pilot exam. And if you found this video to be helpful, hit the like button, um, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be talking about video production, 3d animation,
compositing and the gear that we use to do those things. So if, if you're interested in that stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.